family tragedy playing out in Wake Forest. This man, 20-year-old Edmund Eady Jr., is accused of stabbing two women and killing one of them. The victims were his family. His sister died from her injuries. His mother is recovering as we speak. At just 24 years old, Nyla Eady embodied the epitome of a parent's dream. Beauty, intelligence, compassion, and inspiration all wrapped up in one remarkable individual. She was not only a shining star in her family but also a devoted big sister to her younger brother, 20-year-old Edmund Eady Jr. In the span of five tumultuous years, Nyla and her family weathered a storm of triumphs and tragedies. Following her high school graduation in 2018, Nyla embarked on her journey at Winston-Salem State University, a beacon of historical significance. There, she thrived, immersing herself in campus life, excelling academically. Her achievements brought immeasurable pride and joy to her close-knit family. Yet amidst their celebrations, sorrow struck with the sudden loss of their father, a cornerstone in their lives and community. The weight of this loss bore heavily on the family, none more so than on Edmund Jr. Once a vibrant young man with boundless dreams despite his special needs, he became a shadow of his former self, unrecognizable to those who knew him best. The sanctuary of their once idyllic home turned into a battleground, where arguments and discord became the norm. But on February 13, the discord escalated to unimaginable horror. Edmund Jr., consumed by his inner turmoil, transformed from mere threats to chilling action. Despite the desperate pleas of his mother and sister, reason failed, and tragedy ensued. In a devastating turn of events, a call to the authorities would unveil the unfathomable. Edmund had taken the life of his beloved sister and attempted to harm his mother. Welcome to the American Crime Femicide Channel. Please like, subscribe, share, and hit the notification button for future uploads. On February 13th, just before midnight, the police received a chilling call from Edmund. I just killed my sister. I need y'all to come, you know, arrest me, do the whole thing, he confessed. His admission echoed in the darkness, a stark realization of unspeakable tragedy. Dina, in a desperate plea, reached out to the authorities while locked inside a bathroom with a knife. As the police arrived, they found Edmund waiting in the driveway, ready to face the consequences. Inside, they discovered Dina with wounds that, while not life-threatening, spoke volumes of her terror. Tragically, Nyla lay among them, dead from multiple stab wounds. A man is in custody accused of stabbing and killing his sister and hurting his mom in Wake Forest late last night. CBS 17's Harrison Grubb joining us live right now from the scene. Harrison, what can you tell us? Yeah, police rushed to this neighborhood just before midnight, finding two women injured inside the home behind me. Now, Wake Forest police say 20-year-old Edmund Eady Jr. fatally stabbed his sister Nyla and injured his mom, Dina. She is expected to survive. Edmund Eady is charged with murder and assault with a deadly weapon. It's a very tragic thing, and I'm so sorry for the whole family. Yeah. So we just need to pray for them. Now, Edie Jr. is expected to make his first court appearance tomorrow. Forrest man is charged with killing his sister and seriously injuring his mother. Good afternoon to you. I'm Jeff Hogan. And I'm Michelle McConaughey in for an A2. Thanks for joining us. We first broke the story during our 9 o'clock newscast, and we've spent the morning reviewing police communication. WRL's Chelsea Donovan joins us with what they reveal. Chelsea. Yeah, we should mention, though, that Wake Forest police say that deadly stabbing and assault happened on this home behind me here on Polanski Drive. We did go to the door earlier this morning and a woman did answer. But obviously, as you can imagine, she was very choked up and highly emotional about this tragedy that has happened inside their home. Now, we should mention court documents show 20 year old Edmund Eady was charged with the murder of his 24 year old sister, Nyla. His mother, Dina, was also assaulted, according to Wake Forest police with a knife. So he then again is also charged with uh, assault with a deadly weapon with intent to kill. As you mentioned, we've been going through some of the broadcastify traffic, uh, radio traffic from this morning. Take a listen to some from just before midnight last night. There's another patient here. She's got a life threat to her hand. I'm evaluating her now. 
And we're working to learn right now the condition of Dina Edie, the mother who police say was injured in this stabbing. We should mention that Edmund Edie, the son and the brother, is being held right now in the Wake County Detention Center under no bond. He will go before a judge for his first appearance tomorrow afternoon in Wake County. Family tragedy playing out in Wake Forest. This man, 20-year-old Edmund Edie Jr., is accused of stabbing two women and killing one of them. The victims were his family. His sister died from her injuries. His mother is recovering as we speak. WRL's Chelsea Donovan has been talking to neighbors to learn more about this family. A quiet street in Wake Forest, now the scene of an unspeakable crime. Saw the sirens and police cars outside and wondering what the heck is kind of taking place. When Wake Forest police rushed to this home, they came upon a grim discovery. He stabbed her to death. Police and EMS first found 24-year-old Naya Edie dead from stab wounds. Then police found 47-year-old Dina Edie suffering from non-life-threatening stab wounds as well. Multiple stab wounds to the chest, face, defensive wounds on the hands. Police charged 20-year-old Edmund Edie with the murder of his older sister and attempting to kill his mother, also with a knife. I don't know what could have caused this or brought it on. Neighbors who live on Polanski Drive say they are stunned. Oh, but they're a great family. I've met them before, all very nice, and I'm just kind of shocked by kind of what I'm finding out today. It is another tragedy for this family. This GoFundMe page shows the family's picture for funeral expenses for the suspect's father, who died less than two years ago. She's been there, single parent. Can't understand how this could have possibly happened. Just a, a tragic story there. Chelsea Donovan reporting. Edie is in jail right now, no bond. He has no past criminal record, and he will go before a judge tomorrow for his first court appearance. Edie Jr. now faces charges of murder and assault with a deadly weapon, held without bond and staring down the possibility of the ultimate punishment. For Dina, already grappling with the loss of her college sweetheart, the agony deepens as she prepares to bid farewell to her daughter, taken by her own son's hand. A GoFundMe initiative seeks to alleviate the family's burden as they lay Nyla to rest, a poignant reminder of the community's support in their darkest hour. Nyla's dreams turned into goals achieved, but her untimely departure leaves a void that words cannot fill. She was loved, and her absence will be keenly felt. As the Edie family navigates the unfathomable pain of their loss, let us hold them close in our thoughts and prayers. May Nyla Edie find eternal peace, her memory a beacon of light in the midst of our sorrow.